what's going on what's happening welcome back to the channel we got another episode lined up for you today as we go head to head with the arizona scorpions and you know i had to look at who they've played so far this year it's only been two games they lost to the sharks but they did bounce back and beat the indians in week two week three they are going up against us and we are looking to dominate but we got to do a little bit of scouting first all right now in the air they are doing pretty well they got 500 plus yards four touchdowns on the ground not as much 200 yards one touchdown so obviously they like to pass the ball more than they like to run the ball and that is no problem for us that tells us that we need to lock down the air and force them to run against us so i'm hoping we can get that done because easy said but not easy accomplished all the time you understand what i'm saying now they do have some heavy hitters on this offense lynn dawson charlie taylor john jefferson and abner hayes as well in the defense not so bad but the centerpiece of this defense is going to be Mike Haynes. So as long as we stay away from Mike Haynes, we should be all right. But let's go ahead and get things cracking on third down and six. The Scorpions are looking to pick up a first down. And they better look again because they just got sacked for a loss of six yards. And our offense will come out for the first time today and we are going to put in some work you understand what i'm telling you right now first down and 10 play action rogers ducked the first sack attempt but could not get away from the second that is going to be a loss of six yards on the play second down and 16 delayed handoff for walter payton and that is another loss and that is back-to-back -back plays with absolutely no yards all right we are in the negative as of right now but we got a big third down to change that third and 20 looking down the middle and that pass is going to be incomplete broken up on the play and the arizona scorpions will get the ball back first and 10 from the arizona 45 it's a toss play to abner hayes and he is going to go down at the 39-yard line as he picks up a first down. Second down and 11 now. And Lynn Dawson will be sacked on the play by Chris Dolman. Let's go. Big time defense. Third down and 16 now from the 45-yard line. One minute and 51 seconds left to go here in the first and Scott Studwell was shot out of a cannon just now to break up that pass play. And you know we gotta take another look at it because my man John Jefferson could not hold on. Wham! Woo. Studwell, big time defensive play. Knocked my man's block off like a rock'em sock'em robot. And we are back on offense. Walter Payton takes that handoff on first down and outruns his block. And that is a recipe for not picking up a first down. You always gotta run behind the block, not in front. We still learning, it's all right, it's all good. Second down and four now. And we are looking for Shannon Sharp and that's exactly who we'll find. Gain of five yards and a first down as well as we keep this drive moving along from the 28 yard line now we're going to send shannon sharp into motion for the extra block and that extra block looked like it got us about four more yards gain of eight on the play and that'll do it for the first quarter as we are locked into a defensive battle so far zero to zero second down and two and walter payton is gonna make it do what it do taking that handoff up the middle Gain of 12 on the play. Great run by him. And expect more of that, all right? Because we need it. We need a lot more of that. Play action. Rodgers moving around in the pocket. And he's going to find an open receiver in Figueroa for a gain of eight. Second down and two now from the Arizona 44. I like being on Arizona's side of the field. Not going to hold you. That pass is complete, and Washington will get his first catch of the game. Hopefully not the last for him. 
He's been doing pretty good so far, even though we haven't called his name too often. Now we're gonna hand this one off to Walter Payton, who breaks a tackle, but cannot break the second one. He's gonna go down after a gain of eight, and he is averaging five yards per carry so far. And let's keep that going. I, I would like it if he was averaging 10. That's all I'm saying. Second down and two, and we're looking over the middle for Shannon Sharp. And that was an undisputed catch. <laughs> all the way in the end zone. Easy pass, easy catch right over the top the defense was a little too slow all right they got burnt they got cooked and they got left in the dust second down and eight now for the arizona scorpions and that is a big passing catch to john jefferson as he catches one right over the middle first down in 10 and they are in the no huddle they are hurry up offense right now and it seems to be pretty effective as of right now. Second down in six, and we are not given much time to change these plays. So hopefully we got it in the bag, and on this play we definitely do not. First down picked up by Abner Hayes. It is third down and eight now from the Vancouver 40, and that is an interception for my man in a whole hundred grand. Willie Bacon. <laughs> Willie Bacon out here putting in some work. And I like to see it. I'm not even going to lie. My man don't have no star, but he does have hands. And that's all that matters at this point. Walter Payton with the catch. He is going to go down at the 29-yard line. Gain of six. Third down and four now as time is winding down. I don't know why we like to do these shovel passes on third down, but it's it's time for a change, y'all. It is, it is time for a change. That is not a good third down play. And, and as much as I try to make it seem like it is, it just, it is, all right? It, it really is not. Charlie Taylor comes over the middle with a one-handed catch for a first down. And we know about my man, Charlie Taylor, because he helped us win a championship with the San Diego Gorillas. If you haven't seen it, feel free to do so. Not now though, finish this episode and then you know handle your business. <laughs> Pick up of a first down by Hayes. And now they are rolling right now. They are absolutely rolling. That is another first down. One minute left to go here in the first half. And they are at the Vancouver 30 yard line. Lynn Dawson drops back and gets taken back a little more by Green. Loss of seven on the play. They are not calling timeout. They are still in hurry up. And they're gonna dump this one off for a gain of two. That's gonna bring up third down and 15 from the 35 yard line. 41 seconds left to go and it's incomplete. I really thought we were gonna come away with another interception right there. It just was not true. And they missed the field goal. And that right there might come back to haunt them. We'll get the ball at the 42 yard line. We got 31 seconds and we got five wide receivers and that pass is caught by Cliff Branch and Branch goes all the way down to the 17 yard line we are not calling a timeout we are hurrying up to the line and we are gonna see if we can score eight seconds left to go and that pass will fall incomplete luckily for us it was not intercepted and i'm very thankful for that we will set up for a field goal and for 34 yards away we will bury it and pin it to the back of the net with Al Del Greco, our MVP from last game. And our offense already has done way better than the last game, all right? We scored a touchdown fairly early on in the game. We scored absolutely 
no touchdowns in the last game. So in my opinion, we're already doing better. As we get to the close of the first half, it is 10 to nothing, and we are in the driver's seat for this game right now. As we look at some of these first half stats, 127 total yards on offense for us, 87 for them. We are controlling the time of possession and we did force a turnover. That is pretty good for us. So we got to keep the pressure on through the second half. Abner Hayes with that big run play in the first half really was trying to set the tone for the Scorpions, but my man in the whole hundred grand, Buddy Rogers, was not trying to have that as we floated that pass to Shannon Sharp for a beautiful touchdown, uncontested, and that's the way I like my touchdowns, especially when we pass in the ball. You understand what I'm saying? Lynn Dawson wasn't trying to hear none of that at all, but my man Willie Bacon comes up with an interception and we really needed that interception to be honest I mean we need every interception what am what am I saying right here okay what am I really saying but Buddy Rogers five wide receivers great protection finds Cliff Branch with a contested catch and my man in the whole hundred grand branch went all the way down to the 17 yard line and that would eventually set up our second score of the game which was a field goal and I'm feeling pretty good about this game right now, okay? We are pitching a shutout as of right now, and if we keep this pressure on, I don't see the Arizona Scorpions getting back into this game. Third down and 11 now as we start the second half from the 25-yard line. Rodgers looking over the middle. I don't know who he's looking for. I really don't. I don't know if that pass was intended for Wesley Walker or if it was intended for Shannon Sharp. Either way, it hit absolutely nobody. All right, it hit the ground. Not what we want. Second down and six, they'll pick up three. And it is now third down and three. Lynn Dawson had enough time to begin with, but he waited a little too late to get rid of the ball. We will get the ball back third down and six. We will send Peyton in motion and I already do not like this play I don't I don't like it at all and we almost forced a turnover on ourselves with that terrible pass they will get the ball back first down and 10 for Arizona and it's a handoff to Abner Hayes and he will take that run for a gain of five yards as they move up to the 45 yard line, second down and five now. And that is a beautiful play. Absolutely beautiful. Another handoff to Abner Hayes. This time he will take it for a gain of 10. First down. Woo -wee! And the stop is made. And that is going to be a loss of three. And that will also bring us to the close of the third quarter as we are now in clutch time. And it is third down and 13 for the Scorpions. And Vancouver has brought the house. Lynn Dawson evaded two sack attempts, but could not escape the third. We will get the stop and we will also get the ball back. Third down and five now. Screen play for Walter Payton. And Walter Payton is almost unstoppable, okay? That first hit is not going to do much for him. You have to hit him at least two to three times. Protection is there, but our pass was terrible. We should never have thrown to Figueroa in the first place. He was well covered. And now we have just opened up the doors for the Scorpions because that is a 68-yard touchdown for John Jefferson. He had our secondary burnt, all right? We got to take another look. Jefferson, nothing fancy. Just ran straight up. Beautiful catch. And it's the yak that put us on our back as he gets into the end zone. And they are now kicking an onside kick and I'm not sure why they're kicking an onside kick with three minutes and 18 seconds left to go 
They still have three timeouts plus a two-minute warning. But, hey, I don't coach their team. I coach the pride. You understand what I'm saying? Second down and eight now, and we are just letting the clock run as much as possible all the way down to one on the play clock, and we will hand it off to Walter Payton, who will take this for a gain of six yards. And I'm pretty sure we are just going to let this wind down to the two-minute warning, which is exactly what we did. Third down and four. We're going to send Shannon Sharp in motion for extra blocking. And that extra blocking always comes in handy. You got to have it. You understand what I'm saying? First down is picked up. They have no more timeouts left. And there is one minute and 47 seconds left to go. And on third down, we get stopped for a loss on the play. We will settle for a field goal, and the kick is no good. Wow. So we at least needed those points just in case they get in the field goal range and can't score a touchdown. But we did not get those points at all. Pass is complete to John Jefferson. And obviously, they are in no huddle right now. They have no timeouts. They can always stop the clock by spiking the ball or getting out of bounds. Charlie Taylor with that catch. And they're going to have to play this smart because we are not giving up big yards downfield. We cannot do that whatsoever. First down and 10. And they will spike the ball. Stopping the clock with 31 seconds left to go. Second down and 10 now. Dawson rolls right and gets dropped. Tackle from behind. That was not a sack. Third down and seven now. 19 seconds left to go. And this pass is complete over the middle to the 31-yard line. And they have to... Wow. They chose not to spike the ball. They set up for a field goal, and time has expired. And this is another win that you really can't be too happy with when you see exactly what happened. 176 yards total for us, 209 for them. And what I mean by not being too happy by the result of this game well, it's because we didn't do anything. We scored 10 points in the first half. We were feeling good like we were in the driver's seat. In the second half, we gave up seven, and they could have, if they had played it a little bit better, tied this game and took it into overtime where they possibly could have won the game. And that right there is not good for us. We have been playing I don't even know what level this is that we've been playing at for these last two weeks, but our offense has slowed down. Our defense has kept us afloat in these past two games, but we have to score points ultimately, and we need touchdowns. Rodgers is the player of the game, 136 yards, one touchdown. He went 11 for 18, no interceptions. I don't know, man. We only gave up one sack. I'm just, uh, the confidence is not there right now. We didn't even run the ball as much as we wanted it to, and we didn't get any big runs, any chunk plays, really. I don't know, man. We got to improve by the next game, or I don't see us being undefeated too much longer. And that's all I'm going to say, man. I appreciate y'all stopping with me and rocking with me. If you're new to this, but still true to this, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell for notifications because your boy is dropping content, all right? I'm talking about videos on videos on videos, and we ain't stopping, all right? We might stop, take a little break, but we ain't stopping, all right? <laughs> anyway, man, I've been me, you been you, and until the next time we speak... I'm out.